now we are going to talk about the antimicrobial steward sip sometimes when the examiners has have very bad mood they start talking this fall to random questions to the students and this antimicrobial stewardship is one such type of topic only so how can we define this antimicrobial stewardship this is defined as the use of right antimicrobial agent for the right patient at the right time in the right dose route and frequency so there are four times right coming in the definition of the antimicrobial stewardship please remember this definition is very easy uh, now there has been a program also to ensure this uh, right microbial agent for right patient at right time in right dose route and frequency that is called as the antimicrobial stewardship program now this is not a psm class this is a microbiology class so we are not going to talk about the program and all we will just reduce restrict ourselves to the importance of the program only because that is the our aim in the microbiology so what is the importance of the amsp that is the antimicrobial stewardship program the importance is that it reduces the antimicrobial resistance plus it reduces the misuse of antimicrobials so these are the two importance of this antimicrobial stewardship program now some uh, examiners may ask you this also that how the antimicrobials can be used rationally okay so we all are growing doctors and we should use the antibiotics very much rationally so we should keep some uh, points in mind to use the uh, antimicrobials rationally the number one point is that prescribe only when indicated suppose a patient comes with viral infection and you are prescribing antibiotics to that patient will that antibiotic help the patient no it is not going to help because the patient is having viral infection na so that will be a irrational use of antibiotics so you should prescribe only when indicated okay so this is that is first point of the antimicrobial uh, use uh, in rational way the second point is the empirical versus target therapy so how should we give the empirically uh, how should we give the antibiotics empirically and how should we give uh, the target therapy so target therapy we all know that only after the antimicrobial susceptibility testing the uh, the uh, antibiotic for which that microorganism is susceptible we will use that antibiotic in sufficient dose and amount and then give to the patient then the patient will become good uh, and uh, healthy so uh, and but how do we use the empirical uh, how will we give the antibiotics empirically so for that you should use the the available data what is that data that suppose if someone has got the community acquired pneumonia then you should know what is the most common cause of the community acquired pneumonia and what is the most common uh, uh, antimicrobial or antibiotic uh, agent which should be used in that uh, most common type of or most common cause of the pneumonia so by knowing that most common causes and the most common treatments most useful treatments rather we can uh, institute the empirical treatments to the patients we can give this empirical treatments to the patients the number 3 point that should be kept in mind is the escalation versus de escalation approach so what is the escalation approach the escalation approach is for if the antimicrobial resistance in some locality is very low okay you are living in some rural areas where the antimicrobial resistance may be very low if the patient is stable then we can start with the narrow spectrum antibiotic and uh, after starting with this narrow spectrum antibiotics we can wait for the ast report to come and once that ast report comes then we can switch over to the uh, If, uh, to the uh, broad spectrum or to the particular type of antimicrobial according to that ast report so that that means we are increasing the treatment we can uh, enhancing the uh, treatment so this is called as escalation okay and why are doing why are we doing escalation because uh, we know that in that locality the antimicrobial resistance is low or if the patient is very much stable he can uh, be okay up till the ast report comes so that is the escalation approach okay then what is the de escalation approach the de escalation approach is suppose if the patient uh, lives in a locality where the antimicrobial resistance is very high or if the uh, patient is very much critical then 
uh, straightforward we'll start with the broad spectrum antibiotics because we cannot wait for the ast report to come uh, to start the treatment for that patient in that time the patient will die so in that case we will start the broad spectrum antibiotics and once the ast report comes then uh, we will start the treatment according to that report so in that case we can uh, rest i mean we can narrow down our treatment from broad spectrum to the narrow spectrum antibiotics also according to that ast report so there we are doing the de escalation so that is the de escalation approach why are we not using narrow spectrum antibiotics initially in de escalation approach because anti we know in that locality the antimicrobial resistance is high we have to use the broad spectrum antibiotics the narrow spectrum will not be helping in that case and the patient is critical ill if we use narrow spectrum the patient may die before the ast report comes so that's the de escalation approach then site specific antimicrobials we know certain uh, antimicrobials are uh, much you know uh, uh, useful or much uh, active in uh, certain parts of the body like uh, if we talk about the oral antibiotics we cannot use the oral antibiotics in case of meningitis because oral antibiotics cannot penetrate the blood brain barrier and cannot reach to the csf okay so oral antibiotics are not used similarly uh, the uh, fluoroquinolones they are most common there is respiratory fluoroquinolones or fluoxacin so those are used mostly in the uh, respiratory infection so that is the site specific antimicrobials we should know this uh, what are what are the different types of antibiotics which are uh, helpful in which uh, which all sites of the body okay and depending upon that we should use the uh, antimicrobials rationally then misuse of antimicrobial suppose you are giving the uh, two uh, i mean you are treating a infection and you are giving uh, two antibiotics of the same class you are giving two beta lactams then what is the use of giving that two beta lactams there is no use you should use two different class of drugs na so that they could act differently on that bacteria or microorganisms and kill them so that is the misuse of antimicrobials using same class of drugs uh, two times you are giving uh, suppose you are giving uh, uh ampicillin and amoxicillin to the same patient that is useless okay that is the misuse of antimicrobials then timely stoppage of antimicrobials the antimicrobials should be stopped timely so once the patient gets uh, when when the culture becomes negative or uh, if the uh, therapeutic dose has been delivered to the patient okay the uh, duration has been met for which that antimicrobial should be given to the patient so depending on that it should be timely stopped it should mean uh, the treatment with the antimicrobial should not be extended then prescribing in correct dose route and duration this should also be known to all the doctors so these are some of the points by keeping all these points in mind we can use the antimicrobials rationally okay so this is all about this short topic not much uh, important from exam point of view but knowing uh this is better than to leave this question in exams